All right, and as Chris mentioned, we are continuing to keep an eye on the chance for excessive rainfall. First alert meteorologist Alexa Minton talked with state and local officials about different high water alerts that we may see. She continues our first alert weather team coverage. Never underestimate the power of water. That is what gets people hurt. This week, Kentuckians have been noticing severe weather with locally heavy rainfalls. High waters in creeks and rivers are a concern, but with more rain on the way, there's a chance for flood risks to pop up. So it takes six inches of water to move a car, 12 inches to move an SUV or a truck, and more deaths occur each year due to flooding than they do any other thunderstorm-related hazard event. Most flash flooding is caused by slow-moving thunderstorms or thunderstorms moving repeatedly over the same area. Flooding can begin when heavy rainfall exceeds the ability of the ground to absorb it. The Kentucky Department of Highways wants folks in the coming days to follow the rule, turn around, don't drown when seeing water on a road. Never try to go through high water. Um, don't ever think that you can cross um, a flooded area or high water from a creek or a road. It's best to turn around, of course, and take another route. It doesn't take much water to cause damage, and with more rounds of storms on our horizon, Kentuckians will need to stay weather aware in the coming days to keep themselves and their loved ones safe. Um, you don't have to be living near a river or a creek to have a flood zone. So that's why you always need to plan ahead by watching your weather reports, and that means throughout the day and throughout the evening. Weather can change. What we had this morning at 8 o'clock might not be the same thing we have tonight at 8 p.m. So you always want to be aware of changing weather patterns so that you can plan ahead. For WKYT, I'm First Alert Meteorologist Alexa Minton. And